All right, good afternoon everybody. Uh, in this video, I'll explain to you a more complex if statement. It's part of chapter four. Uh, we're gonna solve exercise eight on page 191 from your textbook. The program goes like this. Write an application that asks the user to enter an IQ score. If the score, uh, if, if the score a number less than zero or greater than a 200, then we need to say uh, an error message, invalid value entered, okay? Otherwise, we need to display above average, average or below average message for the scores over, at, or under 100. So if it is over 100, we say above average. If it is 100, we will say average. And if it is less than 100, we will say below average. So when you have these type of questions, usually it means that you have to use conditions. And in programming, it's an if statement. Condition is an if statement. So we have one variable here, which is the IQ, IQ score. So all I need to do is that when I double click, they enter the value. And when I double click on this, we take the value and then we display the result. So if I double click on this, here's where I can enter my coding. First, we have to define the variables are needed. How many variables do we have? One variable, right? But I'm gonna teach you another variable, another way to do it, so it actually make it easier, okay? So we need two variables. I'm gonna define int for the score, or let's just make it double, because it can be double, double score. And then it's a good practice to make it zero when you start, okay? Then, we need to define another variable. This variable is a string type. Would basically, I will put the message in this variable. So I will say string message equal blank, okay, to start with. So why did I use the message unlike the previous time? Because I do the message first, and then I display it at the end. So every time I find a condition, I'll say this message equal to that, this message equal to that, and at the end I just display the message. Here I'm gonna say, take first we need to take what the user entered, which is what? Score equal convert what? We did not name the text box, but you should have named the text box, okay? Two, double, um, uh, convert to what? Double, right? What do we want to convert? We want to convert the value that the user entered, which is text box one dot text. We should have renamed the variable, okay? But for now, we just leave it as it is. We take the value, and now here, after we take the value, we need to do the comparison. How many conditions do we have? Three conditions. I'm gonna write them in English first, like English format, and then we will uh, we'll do it, we'll program it, okay? These are comments, right? We added comments, so we know what we're gonna write. Okay, so here's the first comment that says what? If the score, if the score is above, first of all, if the score is be less than zero or greater than 200, what should we do? What should we do? We display error message, right? Had the our condition. <coughs> if the score is greater than, otherwise, sahwalala, otherwise, if the score is greater than. A hundred, what happens? What should we display? Above average, right? Halal, otherwise, lalkul. And I will see, what do I have to check first? If the score is 
less than zero or greater than 200, then we display a message. Otherwise, we check if the score is, if the score is greater than 200, we do this. If the score is less than or equal to 100, if the score is equal to 100, what do we display? We display average. If the score is less than a hundred, what do we display? Below average. All right. Why did I do this? Why did I write it down in English before I start doing the programming? Because when you're doing a program, the first thing you need to do is that you know you need to understand the problem and understand the rules. And you can kind of have a solution first before you dive into the program. If I dive into the program, start writing the if statement right away, you might have difficulty figuring it out. And then you're not following a certain plan. Programming is about following a solution in your head or on a, on a piece of paper. For you, since you are a beginner, it's best to write it down first and then you follow the solution. So you reduce the amount of error that can happen. But if you just dive into the program right away, it could be a problem. So now I have my solution, if you will, or my algorithm. All I need to do is that follow. First, I need to do what? I need to check if the score is less than zero and above 200. How do I do this? How do I write an if statement? I say if, what? What are we comparing here? Score. How do we say it's less than zero? If it's less than zero, we say, we, this is how we use it, right? If it's less than zero, what's the other condition? If score is less than zero, or, do you see this? Or greater than 200. Now I have to put the or. What is the or? How do we represent or in this? This slash slash, right? Which is above your enter key. So you put slash slash. I put it on the wrong place. So slash slash. Or score, what? Greater than 200. What should we display? <laughs> we display a message. Now I define a string message here, right? Do you see that? That will give me the result. So I'll say message equal to what? Equal invalid value, right? Now when you have an if statement, this is the beginning of your if statement. Notice I have an error here. Do you see that error? This is here, it says, usually when you see this error at the end, it means that you're missing a bracket. So what I need to do is that I need to finish my if statement. So I'm done with the if statement in this part. Okay, so it says, if the score is equal to zero, we do this, right? I mean, if it's less than zero or greater than 200, we do this. Otherwise, what is otherwise? Otherwise is an else. So I will put an else statement here. So I can say else, and then I open brackets. Why did I do this? Why do I do this else here? Because I said, if it's the first condition, if it's less than zero or greater than 200, I do this one only. But otherwise, if this condition is not true, I do all of this. I need to check all of these conditions. That's why I put them inside the else statement. So inside that else, I will have multiple if statement or one if statement. You got the idea? Let me put it on pause and explain it. We'll resume. Now, what do we need to do? We need to say, another if statement. We need to check the first condition. We say if what? 
if again score is greater than a hundred what do we do we say message equal to what above average then I close notice I didn't use brackets here why I did not use brackets you can use bracket if you want to if you have multiple lines that belong to the if statement like in this case I have many things I have to do but you can use only one a good practice so you don't get confused just put the brackets anyway so you don't get confused okay so you will say a bracket here and then a bracket at the end I know it's extra work but it is clear now so if it's greater than a hundred I do this what's the other condition if it is equal to a hundred then we do something else so what do we say here else if score equal a hundred again what do we do we put a message that says what does the message should say here what control copy and then we put it here says average instead of above average it should say average all right else what yani if it's not greater than 100 and it's not less than a, it's not equal to 100 it must be what less than 100 صح ولا لا لانه a number has three values يا اما above يا اما equal يا اما less than so if it's greater than 100 I do this if it's less than a, if it's equal to 100 and I do this otherwise it is less than 100 the last condition left is less than 100 so what do we do here else what message should, should, should say what message equal below average So, the first condition here, it says, is if, if the score is less than 100, or the score is greater than, I'm sorry, if the score is less than zero, or the score is more than 100, 200, we display this, the error, the message will have this value. Else, we check those three conditions. If it's greater than 100, the message will have in it above average. Else, if the score is less than, equal to 100, then it will have a message average. Otherwise, if it's not this and it's not this, it will be equal to below average. Where is the this is the beginning of the if statement, right? Where is the end of that if statement? Here. Yani, this else belong, do you see this else belong to which if statement? This one here. This else, you have an else, it goes to the, with this one. Adatan, when you have many if statement and else statements how do you know which if statement goes with what if statement which else statement goes with what if statement what you do you look at each statement each else goes with the closest if statement yani which one is this close yani above it of course this else goes with this if why because there's no if before it then you have go inside i have else here else goes with which which one does it go with this one or this one here this one second one because it's the closest to it same thing here this else goes with which if this one here you got the idea so I'm done with this else here I'm out of the else statement so that was the hardest part about my program knowing these if conditions next what do I do I just need to display the result where do we display the result we have a label we have a label called what? LBL result, right? So I can say LBL result dot text equal to what? What do we put in this label? The message variable, right? Because the message variable contains whether it is above, above average, below average, or average, or invalid. You got the idea? That's why I did it in a message. So at the end, I'll just type in message. 
All right? Now we're ready to test the program. If I run it, first let's test how many conditions I have to test. Four conditions, actually five. One below zero, one above 100, one, no, one below zero, one above 200, one above 100, one equal to 100, and one less than 100. So we'll start with the error message first. So if I type in minus five, and do a check, I will get invalid value. If I type in, so that's working. If I type in 230, and then the check result, invalid value. So that's working. Now I need to check if it is, let's say 190, what should say? Above average, so that worked. If I put 100, average. it should say average. And then if I put 90, it should say below average. All right? Let me pause it for a minute. All right, so that was uh, how, do you, how do you make, like we call this is uh, like nested if statement. Yeah, and it's statement. Statement inside an statement. If statement inside an if statement. All right? In your, uh, in your assignment, you will have to be very familiar with if conditions because you have multiple conditions trying to uh, make sense out of them. Other than these type of questions, they are the hardest because you have to use your brain. Uh, and if uh, this sounded easy because I did it. But in real life, when, if you try to do it on your own, at, at, the, at your level, it might not be that easy. So you need to practice and practice until you become very familiar with this logic. So if I were you, I will look at the exercises in this book and then try to solve as many as you can from them. And if you have problem, you can bring it and then you ask me about it. Okay? But you need to practice as much as possible in order to understand this logic. Because programming logic is the hardest in programming. Uh, if, you know, if you're good at that, then programming becomes very easy. Okay? All right? So we're done for the day.